Hey guys, it's Megan and today I am here to do the long anticipated, at least for some of you, video on my Gucci bronzer review. And we are going to do comparisons. I don't have tons of bronzers, but I really want to compare it to two in particular that I've been using lately, which are the NARS Laguna and the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow in light or fair light. Um, this sculpting shade. And as a really, really fair person, I get very intimidated by bronzer and it's taken me a long time to warm up to it, so to speak. And I'm not wearing anything right now. I'm going to do a demo and compare um, the NARS Laguna to the Gucci on my face. And I have the Gucci in shade number one. And this is the compact. This is $62 and then you have the shade on the inside which the reviews really vary on this like some people say it's so dark. I feel like it's a really great color for my skin tone and I am pretty much always the lightest shade or one of the lightest shades in like shade ranges. Right now I'm just wearing um, my Hourglass Vanish Thick Foundation in porcelain. So that is, and my um, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in vanilla under my eyes. So that's all I have on my skin. No powder, highlight, bronzer, blush, none of that. So um, basically I was enamored by this packaging, which it is stunning. It is a very very vibrant teal tiffany blue type of color and i love that it is like the gold accents gold is my favorite metal color and it's just a very chic bougie just a statement piece i would say right off the bat something that frustrated me is that the mirror always like flops down like I don't know if other people have that issue like you would probably just be using it like this but when I'm trying to show it <laughs> in a video which isn't what everyone does but um for me that was something that really irked me from the very beginning and then this part like lifts up and you have a very to me useless super thin brush it says Gucci on it um I never have used it I never like I really don't think it would be useful for a bronzer and maybe you can tell from my like lack of freaking out I am not in love with this I'm just disappointed I guess and it's not because it's a bad product it's not because I don't like it I just had such high expectations that I was almost bound to be disappointed <laughs> um the packaging is gorgeous but I don't get butterflies when I see it and there is one um product that I love so much that I was really hoping it would be similar to. So this is an Estee Lauder blush in Light Show that was from a Mad Men collection they, that they had, I think, in like 2013 or 2014. And this is heavy. And this is really, really nice. And it's a blush, so it's not like the product is what I'm comparing it to. But like this packaging is just so luxurious to me. It makes me so happy to look at it. And honestly, I was really hoping for those same feelings when I got this. And this is very light for being, I thought it would be metal. I think it's actually plastic. Um, there is a mirror, which is nice. And yeah, I'm just not obsessed with the packaging as much as I thought that I would. It's very beautiful. Don't get me wrong, but I guess I just thought it would be heavy and like 
rich like even the film star bronze and glow has like weight to it and i don't even know if this is metal or just plastic but this makes me more excited like with this design and stuff than this does but you were probably not here to hear my complaints about the packaging the product itself so I was super excited because there's I think five different shades and hopefully that would give pretty much everyone the chance to find a shade for them and I would say shade one is a perfect shade for me. So here are the three bronzers that I have been using. So this is obviously the Gucci. The one in the middle is NARS Laguna. The one right here is Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Fair Light. The sculpt shade so maybe you can see some tone differences maybe you can't but I'm gonna do swatches first up the Gucci and this one has the most like red tone to it which is very flattering on my particular skin tone um, it's just a very very natural bronzer shade I think and I have never had a bronzer that exact shade. Then NARS Laguna. I think that NARS Laguna seems to have a little more of like a orangey tone when you compare them side by side but on the skin I don't notice NARS Laguna looking like orangey or anything on me. And then finally the Charlotte Tilbury Sculpt Fair Light Powder. This is very, very light and honestly I can barely blend it out because it basically disappears on my skin but it's more of like a very like fair, very, very fair, cool tone sculpting shade. So we have NARS Laguna, the Gucci, and then the Charlotte Tilbury. So I am going to apply the NARS and the Gucci one on one side one on the other with my um, Sonia Kasha tapered powder brush I noticed that this applies the most bronzer um, so when I really want it to show up or I really want a bronzy look I tend to use this brush I also really love the Sonia Kasha wide contour for like really kind of chiseling out the cheeks and I also really like if I want a light wash of color um, the Sonia Kashuk small point brush. These are just phenomenal um, brushes that you can get at Target and just want to make sure the lighting is accurate. So I'm going to go in with the Gucci and it's not super powdery. It definitely picks up nicely on this brush and so I'm going to do it on this side of my face. And I think it applies really nicely. I don't think this is too dark at all. Um, this is definitely the color or the depth that I would want my bronzer to be. So this is one like application of the Gucci shade number one. And I think it's very natural. Um, I apply my bronzer kind of like contour bronzer um, and that's just how I roll. <laughs> I know some people just kind of like go all over. That's not really my style of bronzer. So that is the Gucci and I'm wiping off the brush on a, I have like makeup <laughs> washcloths. So just wiping that off. Now I'm going to go into the NARS Laguna and this is my favorite like bronze like if I want to be more bronze than like the sculpting powder this is what I reach for and I would say this like applies more pigment than the Gucci but I would say it pretty much shears out to be about the same. So this is the NARS side this is the Gucci. I feel like I cannot tell a difference and maybe that's just me being newer to bronzer and 
applying it the way that I apply it. But I honestly cannot tell a difference. And I have been using, I've been using the NARS for a while. And then when I started using the Gucci, I just did like a swatch like this to see. And I was like, wow, they're pretty different. But then when I get them on my face, they look exactly the same to me. I don't know what you guys think. But to me, and I have done a side-by-side -side test like this and like switched up which cheek it was on. I cannot tell a difference. I've had my sister try to tell a difference. I can't. I can't tell a difference. Like the only thing I would say is maybe this side is a little more like reddish toned than this. But I honestly prefer this side, <laughs> the NARS Laguna. I really, really prefer it. And um, if I can tell a difference at all, I prefer it mostly because of the price. And I just... I can't recommend this. I cannot recommend the Gucci bronzer and I knew it would be something definitely not for everyone because of the ridiculous price point of it but I was hoping it would be something like that made me so happy and that was magical on the skin or something and it's just not. It, it's just it's just some bronzer to me if you're like in love with bronzer like I'm in love with eyeshadow and so I find it really fun to use like more high-end eyeshadows and like that's fun to me to try like the next level of eyeshadow but I'm not like that with bronzer I'm completely content with the bronzers I have and I really just wanted to see what this is all about get the packaging you know have that whole experience but I just am not in love with it and I definitely want to be completely like honest about that with you guys because there would be no reason that I wouldn't be honest about that and I hope none of you guys like went out and bought it when I mentioned it unless you really 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 wanted it and that's why I wanted to do a thorough test of it and make sure that I know my absolute like feelings and review on it. And it's just a bronzer to me. And I went back and forth on should I return it because I got it during the Sephora sale. It was going to be a Christmas gift, but thankfully my mom let me like use it right away she didn't pay for it like I was gonna have her pay me back and I was like don't worry about it I'm just gonna return it but they're just gonna throw it away like that's what happens when you return beauty products that have been used and there's nothing wrong with it like I don't think it's defective I don't think it doesn't work like it is fine but I'm not in love with it. So what I think would make me the happiest is to let one of you guys have a chance to try it. And um, I still have like the little um, velvet pouch. Um, the brush you saw is brand new. I never even peeled the sticker off the mirror. That should have been a sign that I probably wasn't gonna keep it. And it still has the box. And I would just really, love for one of you guys to try it so i'm going to sell this for the price that i bought it for and i will have that listed on the screen and add a few dollars to cover shipping so the price on the screen is the final price and i would just rather one of you guys get to try it for a less expensive price and i've only used it like five times or so so if you're interested in buying this my email address is down below and payment would be through paypal so um if it was cheaper i would love to do a giveaway but <laughs> it's a lot of money that i spent on this and i would like to get at least the price i paid back for it so um, hopefully one of you guys can try it and like i said if you just love bronzer or you just love gucci and like want to collect like their stuff or just look at it or whatever I think other people would probably really 
appreciate it and enjoy it more i am perfectly happy with my nars laguna and yeah so that is my kind of downer review of the gucci bronzer um i feel so much better <laughs> telling you guys though because it has been something that i was like wow like they are gonna really want to know because it's so expensive like the other expensive thing that i bought during the sale was the pat mcgrath um interstellar icon palette and i love this like it is so worth the money to me but like i said i'm obsessed with eyeshadow so these are like special to me like they're very beautiful all that stuff and it also could be you don't think you've ever found a bronzer that really works for you so this i think would work for skin tones similar to mine but also i think nars laguna really works well for my skin tone as well so i hope this was helpful i hope like it doesn't upset anyone that i'm not in love with it like i definitely am more critical of expensive products um but even if it was cheaper i wouldn't like it just doesn't excite me it just doesn't and I should have known because I'm not really a bronzer person but I wanted to be sure and try it for myself so I hope one of you guys will enjoy it if you want to purchase it definitely shoot me an email and yeah so I hope you guys are doing okay thank you so much for watching and I hope this was helpful for you and I will see you very soon bye